working on an El Dingo here. So here's our corrected drawing with everything that works properly now. But it was kind of confusing to uh, use this on the cart because the batteries were sideways and the solenoids in a different spot. So I drew out this. This pretty much has the three batteries sitting in the configuration that they are in the cart. The positive is on the low side of all three. The negative is on the high side. We've got our solenoid sitting right in front of the batteries. Our motor right below. And then we've got our control. We've got our key switch. This is our 12 volt circuit. This would be the battery. The two together would make 24 volts. This is our third battery in the series. All three of them together make 36 volts. And I got the squiggly lines or the doubled up to show we got two cables going from the controller to each battery bank. We've got our crossovers hooking the batteries together. We've got our internal switch in line with the key kill switch that are hooked up to the ground side of the controller. The ground, which also completes the circuit, goes around to the motor. We've got the hot of the solenoid is 36 volt solenoid so we've got a 36 volt straight to the third in the series of batteries to provide 36 volts we have the power coming out of our controller to our solenoid and as long as our key switch and our internal switch turn the solenoid on the power will come out of the solenoid to our motor. Well we've got our controller wired up correctly now. We've got our little motor hooked up again just temporary just to double check everything. We've turned our kill switch on. Let me hold this thing down. Solenoid on 12 volts. So pull the accelerator more 24 volts all the way 36 volts. Back it down, 24, 12, solenoid off, full stop. Cool, we're back in business. Need to get a good sized ground to hook our ground up to the motor. And a good size uh, hot cable, throttle cable, to hook our controller here up through our bracket around up to our gas pedal. Now we got the last few cables and we got our throttle cable and connectors and things. Let's see if we can get this thing on the road. Now we're working on the new throttle cable. Got the cable attachment and it hooked to the bracket. Going back and around. To our controller. Now we have to cut this little ball off the end here so we can attach it to this arm. Well, we've got the end cut off of our throttle cable here. I'm gonna put a little dab of uh, super glue here. It's a little trick I learned. Let that dry for a minute and that super glues all them little strands together so they don't give you problems later. Working on our speed controller. We finally have everything hooked up. We have the 12 volts hooked up, 24 volts hooked up, 36 volts hooked up. The internal switch going to the solenoid. The key switch on the steering wheel going to the solenoid. Our main cables connecting our motor. And now we will do our first test run. Turn our switch on here. And I've got it up on a jack stand here. 
so you don't take off or anything. Sure, nothing's getting warm. Everything seems okay. Let's hit our pedal once again. Well. Have a success. about time to put the seat on and take it for a test drive. Well here's El Dingo. We got her out ready for the first test drive. We got the tie rods and linky all together. We got our throttle cable all together. We got our kill switch. We got all of our batteries and solenoid and controller and of course our big motor wired down to our sprocket got our brakes turn our switch on Holy shit!
first test drive with El Dingo seemed to be a success. Nothing broke. We made it around three blocks twice. The motor is just barely warm. All of our cables are all cold to the touch. The only thing I've noticed so far after the test ride seems like our batteries have shifted a little bit. You can see the primer wore off of the tray there. Like I said, no heat buildup at all. And then our chain seemed to take a stretch. Well, it's been a couple days since we did the first test drive on El Dingo. Test was basically successful. We made it around about six blocks and didn't blow up anything or break anything or fry anything out as far as I know. And after studying the data and thinking about everything and consulting the experts at do-it-yourself go-karts and electric vehicle, do-it-yourself electric vehicles and a few places like that, it just controlling the speed of a big motor like this under load with a voltage controller just isn't going to work. It's too hard on the motor, it's too hard on the chain, it's hard on the cart. Especially when it decelerates, it just it's going to end up breaking the motor or the mount or ripping the motor off of the cart, breaking the chain, something. It's all bad. So, although it technically worked and functioned, we'll have to claim this uh, experiment a failure. To conclude this video, we're going to remove all of our simple controller here, voltage controller. And I'm in the process of rounding up a real speed controller. So hopefully the next video I'll have a speed controller on here and I'll show you a test drive with that.